Ah. It's been fun for the last few weeks. We've been doing the top ten. It's better than the Big Ten power rank. Well, the Big Ten you can only do like for the first few weeks, and then you realize they're it's all terrible. Going to be bad again this year. Got so it. let's start off at number ten, Mike. Okay. Yes, we head down to Durham, North Carolina. Notre Dame defeating Duke. Oh, okay. Yeah, Notre Dame defeats Duke twenty-one to fourteen, bouncing back from their loss. Yeah. Against Ohio State, and and they did it kind of the way Ohio State beat them the week before. Notre Dame is the is the uh, poster child for a twelve team playoff because it doesn't matter what Notre Dame does here on out; they're not getting into a four team. But in a year where we had eight or twelve, I think Notre Dame's one of the last teams in, yeah. and I don't know that anybody would be real pumped up about playing them. Mm-mm. But they're good; they're just not going to be good enough because. Their marquee game, they lost. I don't see a way in. I don't. No, they would need chaos the way that the Buckeyes needed chaos last year yeah. to get in. So but you they're, need- they're legit, man. They're good. At number nine, the University of Spoiled Children, USC. Uh, they defeated Colorado 48-41, to but... You defeated Colorado 48-41. Yeah, I, I can't put them in the top ten because I don't take... Alex Grinch's defense seriously at all. This was the final straw for me. The defense, despite the transfers of Bear Alexander and Mason Williams, it hasn't worked. They're still terrible. Rico, I think they're at best the third best team in the Pac-12. But I as bad as the defense, there. Mike, the offense is good. Who have they and played? That's why. They play Colorado and hey, who have they played? Ah, ah. Who yeah, yeah, okay, no. okay, partner. Who have they know. played? Well, no, know. I disagree with that ranking. Dirt bag. At number eight, thanks to a uh, pick by Peyton Thorne, University of Georgia beats Auburn 27 to 20. All right, hold on, hold on. You dropped them to eight? Oh, they were eight last week. I think that's a little much. Now, I will say, I am expecting a virtuoso performance this Saturday night by Georgia. Kentucky's going to roll in. Everyone's told them how bad they are. I think Kirby rallies the troops, and I think they drop a bomb on Kentucky. Uh, you can rank them eighth for playing very lackluster two of the last three weeks, damn near losing to Auburn. And once again, remember. I think it's a little off. No, no. Th- this is not where they're going to finish. So, Kenny, unball your fist, okay? Quit doing the Arthur meme. Oh, no. But what I am saying is kind of like how Michigan was, you're not you're not covering the spread you're not looking dominant in these games. You know, Bowers gets the touchdown, and and then you need an interception to win that game. Kenny, did you feel good about the Georgia game? No, I didn't feel good about the Georgia game, but I'm not dropping them all the way to eight because of it. That's no, no, little, no, I'm not like dropping them. Much. They were already at eight. You were just sick last uh, week. That, oh, okay. That was, well, that was wrong last week, and it's wrong this week then. Okay. I think at lowest I'd have them at five. I get what you're doing. But, I, Kenny, I think you'll rise – a lot in these rankings. I, I know you were screening calls. I expect the best out of them Saturday against Kentucky. Will you show up during the first half? Kenny, yeah, I'd like that, Kenny. please. And I'll simply say this. In this, I've held true. You have a good week, you move up. You have a bad week, you fall. I don't, uh, I'm no holder to where you started the year off. Mm. At number seven, we got Oregon. Oregon, 42-6 to six over a, a, a bad Stanford team, and they just went out there and made Stanford look bad. They didn't even score in the first quarter. That's the crazy part. Still come out, cover, do the business. Look, I'm fine with it. At least they've gone on the road. They played Texas Tech. They did something, played a Power 5 team. They are still in need of a big test. Mm-hmm. They're still in the need of that big game. Right. The Colorado thing, I think they took personal, but as we know, Colorado is not a great Colorado team. Stinks. No, no, no. So... At number six, took them a little bit of time to get it going, but I got Penn State. Defeated Northwestern 41-13, to even though they were down in the game because they fumbled the opening kickoff. They rallied back. Penn State still, I think, the number one defense in the nation. I don't um, like their offense. Sorry. But they got a, they got that West Virginia win is looking better and better each week. That's fair. Neil Brown saving his job. Again, they played someone who's a Power 5 team. Yeah. Looks decent. Their schedule, again, I, I got to see Aller in a big game where I need him to throw it 25 times. 
Yet to see it. I didn't like his performance at Illinois. I didn't like his performance against Iowa. I need more. At number five, lackluster game. Penix did not do what he was supposed to do. Washington is number five. They defeated the uh, Arizona Wildcats 31-24 to in a game that probably should not have even been that close. I don't know if they were sleepwalking in the game. They just kind of took the Wildcats for granted. Yeah. Was not impressive, so they drop in my poll this week to number five. Look, this will um, this will sort itself out a little bit. Just you know, your Washington angle, Washington and Oregon in Seattle next weekend, yeah, October fourteenth, where I will take Washington. But you're not going to beat people by fifty every week, just like Michigan wasn't going to sleepwalk every week. I have no problem that they didn't distance themselves and win by forty. They were on the road this week again. Arizona's actually a lot better than people realize. Right. Jed Fish doing a nice job. Don't make it a habit playing that way. Correct. But overall, Washington might be the best team in the Pac-12. They they look really tough. I think they'll be playing in uh, Vegas on that Friday night for the championship game. They're going to be one of the teams. At number four, off of bye week, the Ohio State still uh, flying high off of beating Notre Dame. But they were on a bye week last week, and because Washington struggled – Ohio State moved up to four. At number three. No comments on Ohio State allowed, apparently. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, You're on a roll. No, go ahead. He's on a roll, Ken. Go ahead. Um, I think it's fine enough. I'll I'll allow it. I just, you know, you were getting a little ahead of yourself. Dynamite dropping. All right. (laughs) That broadcasting (laughs) school's really paid off. At number three. I moved up the University of Michigan. You defeated Nebraska 45 to 7. Utter domination. It's what I have been waiting to see. That's why Michigan jumped, I think, six spots in the poll this week. The only thing holding you back from the one or two spot is you have not played a top power five team this year. So I don't know how good you could be. The problem's the schedule. I know Florida State and Texas are ahead of them. Well, look at who they've played. Clemson and LSU for FSU. Texas has gone to Tuscaloosa. I get it. Uh, could Michigan be the best team? Yes. But I, but I, but I understand why. Yeah. Now, I'm hoping I get Texas number one finally. At number two. They're going to be playing Oklahoma. No. At number two, they had a bye week last week. The Florida State Seminoles. All right. I, I I still probably put Georgia ahead of them. I probably put Ohio State ahead of them. I didn't like the way they played at Clemson. And if the Clemson kicker didn't lose his mind, the kid they got from science class, they, right. they'd lose. But, but they won. Yeah, they did. They survived and advanced. They won on the road. There it is. It's a ranked road opponent, which wake me up the next time we see Michigan go on the road and do that. And Texas... I, Texas is There's number not, one. Not more to say. I mean, I th- they're a pretty complete team. Yeah, I'll help Texas with a dollar sign. Look, they I, beat K- uh, Kansas, ranked team forty-one to fourteen in a look-ahead spot yeah. with the Red River Shootout next week. Had every reason to have one of those thirty-one to twenty-four type of games. They didn't. That was that's what impressed me is they were able to stay focused. And Mike, you've seen it so many times. The the, the coaches and players. No, no, we're not looking ahead. Actually, you were. Yeah, but and, this one, nah. And, and again, I mean, if you know, I understand Quinn Ewers, not and it, he's not perfect. But when you look at the the numbers overall, I mean, he's taking football more serious, completing sixty eight percent of his passes, ten touchdowns, one pick. He's done it in some big environments. He's got damn near fifteen hundred yards passing. Like he's on pace to have that three thousand yards, that thirty touchdowns, some big wins. He might be rounding into the guy we thought he was going to be. And they've got yeah. the weapons around him with A.D. Mitchell and Xavier Worthy. He cut the hair, and Sand- all of a sudden now he's and, a real And you know what? All jokes aside, young man, you want to be an NFL quarterback. Look like one. Get in shape. Yeah. You want to have him, I'll let you do your thing. But the point is, he wasn't taking it serious, and he did this offseason. So credit to him. He looks a lot better. And Kenny, here's the thing. Your boys go out there and beat somebody handily. They'll move up. The level of disgust that Kenny looked over at you with was really disturbing. Not my fault. I thought we were past the Georgia part of this power rank. Why am I catching strays again? Yeah, because I wanted to. You're still set. I, it's my top ten. You'll catch strays if I want you to catch strays. 
I, Kenny, Kenny, I kind of feel the end of that <laughs> sentence featured a bitch. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kenny, you need to speak to this man. 248 539 9797. We'll get with the people next. 971.